Hello and welcome back to the land of barking dogs and strange noises. Uh, we are going to replace the coil on a 660 Rhino. So, have fun, we'll, we'll get there. Alright, this is our victim here today. And this is our new part. Now, I've already broken these bolts loose just because sometimes they're a little rusty. Because there's supposed to be a cover that goes like right there. And uh, it's not on it. It's in the bed, but it's not on the machine. So, when you first look at these, you think, oh, it's got two wires, and all the ones that you buy online just look like they have the one plug in. This one is actually a ground. Pull this out. Like that. <clears throat> now, I can tell that this thing's already been messed with because I don't see Yamaha using two different length bolts. Notice the one's got a smooth section of shank on it and the other one does not. That being said, <clears throat> you'll want to take a look at that. See how clean and shiny that is? You want it to be like that. And we're going to have to uh, do hickey here. So take a little pry thingy. I'm just going to use my hand. Gonna slide that out. Uh-huh. Just like that. Okay, that's out. <clears throat> and I'll take and pull this with one hairy hand and uh, have a look down in there. Kind of dirty and nasty. We're going to clean that out today. But we are going to look here at the uh, old part. See how it's got those little shiny spots? That's where it was making contact. So we know it had pretty decent contact. And then this is our new one. Mm -hmm. It's got a rubber band on it. And it'll go right here. Like that. So we'll go ahead and take this short bolt, thread it through there. Get that started. Yep. And then your plug wire actually goes underneath this thing. So you can kind of see the hole down there. So just lay that off to the side because I'm going to put some dielectric grease in it. And then this looks good and clean, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. Like that, like that. Get those started. I'll tighten down with the old uh, Milwaukee here. And then I'm going to spray a little bit of cleaner in there. Get that cleaned out good so I like it. And uh, when I tighten this, I'll make sure that this is pushed down. That, there, there it is. It's pushed down onto it so it's not all wonky. And uh, yeah. Alright, so sprayed that out, a little bit of cleaner. I'll show that on there while everything's still kind of loose in case I were to have an issue. Get this bad boy out of here. Just turning the wrong direction. This is much easier when I can set up a tripod, but uh, this is actually under the dump bed, and I can't. There's no good camera angle tripod under there with where this thing is mounted. It's mounted in the middle, yeah, but... And then go back down here. Alright, so just run them kind of like that, where they're not super tight with the battery, and then hand torque there and voila she's done yes you have replaced the coil on what is I believe a 2006 Yamaha Rhino and uh, if you want to see more stuff or have any requests on things if I have it around I'll fix it for you and you can see it 
a 2006 Yamaha and uh, whatever else shows up. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. We'll continue making content and uh, have a great day and a good weekend.